So welcome back to the shop tour. Uh, we've got the Continental here, and uh, if you've seen some of the prior videos, we put in a teak floor. We're starting to reassemble it. The gentleman wanted to put a new interior in here, but my upholstery guy is backed up, and so we're gonna put this interior in there for now, and, uh, and then in the fall or over the winter before next year, we'll put the new interior in here and have that all done. Uh, so we got the gauges in, uh, he's been working on the wiring, putting the uh, interior back in, then we'll put the hardware on. We've already done the, the deck stripes, Tim, Tim did a great job on the deck stripes and those are all done and look great. So it won't be long, probably another two weeks and we'll have this ready to go in the water for the customer. All right, so the 1955 21 foot Cobra that's been in here for a while, we're getting really close. We have found one exhaust pipe. So here's my call out to you guys. If anybody knows where there's a six foot piece of two and three quarter inch diameter, 0 0.062 wall thickness copper tube, I need it. I found one of them. Uh, the other one, if I, I can't find another one, so I think what we'll have to do if we can't find another one is piece two of them together. So we'd have to braise them and piece them together. They haven't made it in years. Uh, I've had this problem before and it's just really hard to find any anymore. So let me know in the comments below if you do know of some source that has it. I have exhausted all the sources that I know of with uh, you know being in this business almost 30 years but just can't find it so I know there's a piece out there so we've got the interior in uh, we're getting ready to finalize everything's hooked up uh, fuel system uh, shaft the coupler strut prop that's all done uh, we've got some wiring to do the gauges are in but uh, like I say the big problem is the exhaust pipes. The tail is uh, being painted. So we've had that on and off the boat a few times and it just didn't line up very well. So what I did is I hired somebody else to come in and do fiberglass work on that tail section where it didn't line up. We put it all back on the boat, made sure it was gonna work for us and just about as perfect as could be. And then we sanded that uh, on the boat just to make sure everything was fair once it's on the boat, removed it, and they're priming it and then painting it. So we should have that back in about two weeks and hopefully by then we've got the exhaust figured out and we can final assemble this boat. You will see this boat in shows around here, definitely in Michigan. Uh, it'll definitely be at the International Boat Show, the Antique Classic Boat Society International Show, which is in Petoskey at Bay Harbor, not too far from here in Michigan. So it'll definitely be at that show. So yeah, come out and see it. All right, so the 1941 Chris Craft Hydroplane. It is looking sharp. We're going to be, next week, we're going to paint the white deck stripes on this boat and get the engine in. The engine has arrived. Uh, we've waited a year for that engine. Um, it's a triple carb KB, so it is the correct engine for this boat. That is pretty much the last piece that we need to do a final assembly on this boat. I like to get everything together before I go into a final assembly and wiring and stuff, just because then I know I have everything, I can make all my connections, and in the long run, it's gonna save time. So we've had this boat covered up after we polished it. Like I say, we'll do the deck stripes here. Uh, we've got the interior pieces already built for the upholstery. The upholstery guy is going to knock that out for us pretty soon. Uh, but next week, it's getting the engine in the boat, and we'll film that. We'll also, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about engines. So stay tuned for my next video. Uh, we're going to talk about what's correct, what isn't correct color, what should be painted, what shouldn't be painted from the factory. And these will be details like they left the factory. So that's what we're gonna talk about. Uh, so stay tuned for that. 
and then stay tuned for the engine install and updates on this. This boat will also go to the shows around here. We might put it into Hessel show. We'll see how far we get, uh, which is the second weekend of August. And then it'll definitely be at the International Boat Show uh, in Petoskey, Michigan uh, at Bay Harbor. So uh, stay tuned for that. So the U-22, uh, we have a new bottom on this. That's what we did over the winter. And then we've got, oh, probably 10 to 12 coats of varnish on the sides. Uh, we're gonna do our final coats on the sides and then we're going to paint the inside, the new bottom area, and then we'll reassemble the boat and get it back to the customer. Now we are gonna put a new engine in this. Uh, somebody put a V8 in it. He wants to go back to the six cylinder, how it was, and make the boat more original. So next season, what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the gauges, the wiring, and uh, the interior, the flooring, and then varnish the deck too. So, but this year we're just going to put it back together again so he has a boat to use. Uh, so that's going to be out of here in another couple weeks. This we have the 1929 20 foot. This boat is, it's pretty amazing what shape this boat is in. Um, for a 1929, I mean the wood on the sides was pretty darn good. We are going to what's called restack the sides. So we're going to use the old planks. So over here we have a new batten in here we didn't replace all of them because they were so good so we just filled those holes and we're going to restack the sides uh, the old sides were in great condition uh, a couple of them had cracks in it though and they were full thickness they were almost half inch thick so we're going to reuse as much as that as possible and so like i said we filled all the holes we don't want those screws to go into the old holes so what we're going to do is when we restack it we're going to push everything up glue it and screw it and if there is a gap it'll be behind we'll fill it with wood and it'll be behind the rub rail so you'll never see it so there are a couple planks that we're gonna have to replace on the side like I said that were cracked um, but in the next probably month we'll get the sides on this and we'll get it fared out and then we can flip it right side up So here we have the 1950 25 foot Sportsman twin engine. We are almost done with all the woodwork. Um, seats are built, uh, the engine boxes are built, the seat bases are built. Um, we don't have the ceiling boards, which will go all in this area. It will cover the outside hull of the boat with ceiling boards. We wanted to build all this first because those are kind of custom pieces we have to make and make sure they fit and they're flush and they're all even and the same. So uh, we're gonna get on to that next week, but we got a lot of fairing to do. Um, the deck is done and glued on. Uh, we still gotta come back and do this. We're working our way backwards. Once all that's on, we can cut our corners here for our crash pad. This boat gets a uh, vinyl dash from the factory, that's the way it was, and it wraps around with crash pads, and the crash pads go all, all around. So we have to make sure we have these cut out for those arcs for the crash pad to come around. So now that we have the decking on, we can do that, and, um, and then it's a lot of fairing, and then final sanding, and then we get to stain the boat. So that'll be an awesome day when we have all the woodwork done, completed, uh, everything screwed down and glued down, fared out, and then we can stain. So I'm not sure we're gonna have this boat ready for the international show, but we're gonna try. Uh, we do have the engines for it as well, and so we're gonna be putting those in soon. Um, and then we've gotta figure out where to drill our shaft holes and then mount the struts. So, Unfortunately, we don't have the original keels for this boat. Uh, the bottom was taken off and it was upside down when we got it. So we don't really know exactly where to place the strut. And that's crucial because once you put the strut on and bolt it through, we use that to drill our holes for the shaft. And if that's not right, then the engine won't align with the shaft properly. So that's something we're gonna have to figure out it shouldn't be too much of a big deal, but we just want to make sure we get it right. 
And after that, then it's on to wiring and upholstery stuff. This boat's got a lot of upholstery in it. And so that we're going to have to figure out because we didn't have any pieces for that, really. So um, it's a bit of a challenge, but we like it and it's coming out awesome. So and we're saving a boat and that's really what counts. So I hope you enjoyed the shop tour. We do one about every month just to keep everybody updated on what's going on in the shop. We have been working on getting boats out of storage to their lifts, doing minor repairs. We do probably three or four of those a week. Um, so we're getting that squared away and out of the way. Uh, I put my personal boat in the water, so that's also uh, some fun on the weekends. So thanks for showing up again. Stay tuned uh, for those engine videos coming out and uh, some more progress videos. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. That does really help. And if you want to see other videos coming out, uh, then hit the subscribe button. Also, that bell reminds you that uh, I have come out with a video. So if you are interested in that, hit that bell too, and that'll, that'll let you know when a new video is coming out from us. If you want to support the channel, uh, the Patreon accounts really helps to do that. So uh, that link is in the description also at the end of the video. So I'm going to go into detail after that of what should be painted and what shouldn't be painted. Like, that's enough. Yeah. Yeah.